Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and today we're going to make a cute napkin card. And we're going to be using some of our new collection. It's from Crafters Companion, and it is the Sarah Davies Signature Collection Rustic Cottage. This paper is really, really pretty. I'll flip through and show you a few of them. So we're going to be using this today and then we're going to be using the rest of the pack to make a mini album. So, isn't that pretty? Look at that. I think it's gorgeous. It is single sided but it is a very thick paper so it's a good quality. Look at that. I love this. And then it starts over. You get, um, let's see it is 180 gsm so that tells you what a good quality it is and you get 48 sheets it's acid and lignin free so it's a good good paper we have some of the six by six in stock we don't have the 12 by 12 in stock yet but it it, it should be here next week okay this is what we're going to make and it has a little magnetic closure that goes in the center and then you just pull on it and it opens up so that's how it works right there isn't that cute that's what we're going to make today all right so you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is nine and a half by nine and a half and you're going to put it in your scoreboard you're going to score at two and three eighths at four and three quarters whoops at seven and one eighth and then you're going to turn it one turn and you're going to do the same thing two and three eighths four and three quarters seven and one eighth and that is all the scoring that you're going to do so I'm going to let you see this side and you can see that that's what we have lots and lots of little blocks so you're going to go ahead and fold and burnish all of these score lines and just make it, make sure that they're even. If you got a little bit off, make sure that your score lines are even because that's going to be very, very important to make all of the lines come together. And I think that's all of them. Okay, and you don't have to fold that one in the middle. Now, what you're going to do is this is going to fold up this way. This is going to fold up this way. And just make sure that they meet and that everything looks straight on. Because like I said, this is very important when it comes to putting this together and making it look right. And then just go ahead and flip it over and fold it the other way. We just need to break down some of those fibers so that when you pull on those side tabs that it pops open. All right, and now you're going to go back and you're going to take your points and where that center is right there, where those lines cross in the center, you're going to fold up to that. And I'm putting my glasses on so I can see. Fold right up to that center point. And then these lines, this line and this line should come right on that score line on the, that runs down that way. So, see that should run right down that score line right there. And then this one should run right down that score line right there. Okay. And then just go all the way around folding all of your points up. Making sure that they're even. And these ends down here are even. The more even you can get it now, the easier it's going to be on you when you start putting your mats and things on. Alright, now you just want to go ahead, open it back up, and then fold these the opposite direction. This just helps everything open up easily. Okay, and now what you want to do is take one of your sides it doesn't matter which one. This big 
triangle that's right here just hold that and pull this up and then do the one on the opposite side just like that fold it up and then this little part right here is going to come over to there we do that again on this side so we're going to hold this right here this triangle fold that up pull that up pull this one in just like that and you're let see you're leaving your points out fold that up and then just fold that over so see what you're getting and then you're going to do that on every one of them on all your sides that's why we fold it in different directions because it makes it a lot easier when you start to do this it doesn't have as much resist then just go ahead make sure everything's straight and then reinforce all of your score lines okay I'm gonna to to show you that one more time just in case somebody didn't get it open it up like this fold one of your sides over see so this triangle here pull this up this point up fold that one over and then this just automatically tries to go up there like that like it's supposed to if it doesn't just fold it down and then you're just going to do that all the way around until it looks like that okay so it just looks like that and then you're just going to take these little points and you're going to fold them out just to meet that outside edge right there and then just burnish them down so just take that little point and fold it out and then just burnish it down okay and now you have your napkin fold card all we need to do now is just put our mats on there okay you're gonna need a, a different color solid color you can do pattern paper it doesn't matter what but you're gonna need six pieces that are cut two and one eighth by two and one eighth and then you're just gonna take your scissors or your cutter whatever and you're gonna cut those in half right across just like that making a triangle I just use my scissors but you can you can certainly do your um, you can use your cutter if you want to and they're gonna go right here on that part that shows when it's closed up so just make sure that it's a color that you want to show and I'm gonna open it back up while I mat it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mat all of these around through here and I'm going to use my art glitter glue to put these down. And just center it up where you have just a little bit of that blue peeking out. That's what you want. So go all the way around and just put them on these two, like these two, these two, these two, and these two. Don't cover the other ones with this color. You're going to change colors when you do the other. Makes it prettier. Okay, now for these big triangles, you're going to need a piece that is three by three. And I am going to use my trimmer to cut this one diagonally. So just put it in my trimmer and make sure those points are on the line and then just trim it and cut it in the middle okay so these are gonna go right there centered up just like that Isn't that paper pretty so those are gonna go like that again I'm just using my art glitter glue to put these down 
So there we have those. And now we're going to cover these right here, these triangles. And again, that's just a two and one eighth by two and one eighth. And then I just cut them in half and they go just like that. And you can do these in any color you want. You can do them all the same. It, it, it's just prettier when you have a darker color on the, um, when you have a little contrast in your colors. It makes it a little bit prettier. To me, anyway. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to cover these. And I have some of the pattern paper to do those because those are going to be the ones that show right here. So, I, again, it's just a two and one eighth by two and one eighth, and then I just cut it down the center. And if you have long handle scissors, just put your, open them up wide and put your scissors on one point, point the scissors to the other one, and just cut. And you can get them straight, I am sure. This would be a really good project to use up some of your little scraps on because it doesn't take a very big piece to make these. Okay, there we go. And now just fold it back up and you have to kind of get it started. There you go. Isn't that pretty? So just like that. Now for this piece right here in the center, you need a piece that is four and five eighths by four and five eighths. Just center that up in between the score lines. And now we're just going to take our die, and this is just one of those top note dies, and I've got just a little piece of that post-it note tape that we carry, and I am going to put it in my big shot. Now, somebody asked me would I show this on me cutting these on here, so I will. I've got my magnetic plate down, then I'm putting my cutting plate, then I'm putting this down. And then I'm going to put this one on top and run it through. And all that popping and snapping is normal. Don't worry about that. And you don't have to run it through twice. I just didn't want to have to pull it out that side. But that is that. So there is our top note cut. Now that can go that can go right there but I am going to do a little bit of stamping on it and I think I want to use this sentiment and this is a florette bloom an FB stamps stamp I'm going to use this sentiment here that says if friends were flowers I'd pick you I like that. That's cute. And then I am also going to use these rose stamps on this one. I'm going to use the large one and the small one and then some of these rose leaves. Yeah, I think that'll work. But that one is also from Florette. And we are talking to her and I haven't got to talk to her in a while I guess she thinks I have forgot her but we are talking to her about carrying her stamps in our store I absolutely love these two this one is posies and you can see all the goodness on that and then this one is roses in bloom and I absolutely love that big sorry about the glare that big rose right there <coughs> excuse me all right, so 
So we're going to use some Versafine to stamp this down. The sentiment. And of course I have to stick my finger in the ink, always. And we're going to stamp this kind of down here on the corner. No, I think I'm going to stamp it in the middle. Isn't that pretty? Her stamp stamps so good. Let me know in the comments below if you're, you would be interested in purchasing some of her stamps. If we start carrying them, I would appreciate it. I'm thinking very, very seriously about it, and we're in discussion, so just let me know in the comments below. Okay, we're going to stamp this rose, and I think I'm just going to stamp it in some colors. That way I won't have to worry about if I need to color it or whatever. So I'm going to use some Ranger. This is Rose Matter. One of my, this is archival ink, and this is one of my very favorite colors. And let me find a piece of paper to put down. Because we're going to kind of stamp off. Look at that. I like it when it's just a hint of the flower there. And let's see, let's clean that off. And then we're going to stamp this little one just around in some different places. Then we'll just use some green, and this is just called olive, to do the leaf. I think that's cute. And we can go ahead and color these with, I'm just going to use some Wink of Stella. I'm not going to try to pull out any Copics or anything like that to make a lot of shadowing and all that going on. I'm just going to use some Wink of Stella. This is in pink, if I'm not mistaken. We're not going to worry about shadows. We're just going to color it. And then we're going to color our leaves in uh, green. It's just, it just says glitter green. And again, I'm not worrying about shading or anything like that. I'm just coloring. Okay, there we go. Isn't that pretty? I think it's gorgeous. By using that colored ink in the background, then it looks like we've got dark places and highlights and low lights in there and we didn't even do that with our coloring. I like to color like that. Sometimes you just don't have time to do a lot of shading and that's just an easy way to get it done. So we're going to put this down. I think it's dry enough and we're just going to go ahead and use some of our art glitter glue. kind of center it up and press it down. Oh yes, it's dry. There we go. Okay, so there is a sweet message for the inside. And now you can close it back up. And that is what you have. Now, you wonder how in the world are we going to keep this closed at all? Well, I will show you. I have cut out a little scallop circle. And then I have cut out another little scallop circle to go inside that one. And what we're going to do is take one of our magnets... We're going to take one of our large magnets, and these are the 6.25 magnets. 
and they are very very strong and we're going to put one of these down right in the center of this scallop circle they do have the adhesive on them already so put it down right in the center and then we're going to take this little piece and we're going to put it down right on top of that magnet And then, of course, it has a hole in it. Oh, no. Well, that's a good opportunity for me to put some bling in there. You know I have to have bling. So, I'm going to drag out my bling book. And let's find a really pretty piece of bling to go in there. Hmm. I think one of these pink rhinestones will be pretty in there, don't you? Maybe? I don't know. I'm leaning more toward the darker pink in this. No, that light pink right there. That'll work. Okay. Oh, this one's not open. Guess we have to open it. You guys know I'm a blingaholic. And the little bit of glue that squished out when we was putting the top on there was just enough for the extra hold. Isn't that cute? Okay, so let's put that back in there. Set that aside for a moment. Now, we have our magnet in here, and nobody can tell that that's what it is. But, where are we going to put the other magnet? Well, we're going to put the other one on the back just like that right there so we are going to put the other one right where those score lines cross right there and it looks like just make sure that you're putting your magnet the right way it looks like it wants to go sticky side down so that's what we want and that's where we're gonna put it we're gonna put it right there Then when you put that down on there, there we go. It is held in place. Isn't that cute? And now all you need to do is turn over on the back and we want to punch a little circle to go over the top of that. You can do it out of the same blue that you used. That's probably what I will do. Okay, and then we just punched out a little blue circle put some glue on that and just put it on top of that magnet on the back so that it doesn't show and that's it that's all that you have to do all right so that is all there is to it so then when you take this up then there you go there's your card so so pretty okay Alright guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see some of these made on our Facebook page. The link is below. We will talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.